at last, 200 years in the making, in honor of the bicentennial of the state of Illinois, it's the HFK Bicentennial Minute. Today in Illinois history, October 11th, 1908, the World Series comes to the West Side Grounds. The Chicago Cubs defeated the Detroit Tigers 6-0 in Game 2 of the 1908 World Series en route to back-to-back -back championships on this day in Illinois history. It was the first game of the series to be played in Chicago, and the Cubs had already taken Game 1 in Detroit 10-6. The Cubs' home ballpark, West Side Grounds, was packed with 17,770 screaming Chicago baseball fans who saw pitcher Orville Overall hold the American League champs to a lone ninth inning run. It was nothing nothing going into the eighth when Joe Tinker's home run led the Cubs to a six run explosion. Three days later, Overall, had, who had a solid season with 15 wins, four saves, and an austere 1.92 ERA, shut down Ty Cobb and the Tigers to three hits before a World Series record low crowd of 6,210 dispirited baseball fans at Detroit's Bennett Park. The Cubs had won the Fall Classic four games to one and returned to Chicago baseball heroes, the first team in Major League history to win back-to-back -back World Series. They had dominated the American League champion Tigers four games to none with one tie in the 1907 World Series. At the core of both the 1907 and 1908 championships was the famous double play combination of shortstop Joe Tinker, second baseman Johnny Evers, and first baseman manager Frank Chance, the peerless leader. That's Tinker to Evers to Chance. Today's Illinois fact. Kaskaskia was a majorly important French colonial town. Its first stone church was built in 1714. It then got taken over by the Virginia militia during the Revolutionary War. It then was designated as capital of the Northwest Territory, and it even served as the state capital of Illinois. Just briefly, that's your HFK Bicentennial Minute.